Dajahao, my name is Garrick, and welcome back to Taiwan Lao Wai. So, it is the start of our second day in the city of Kaohsiung, and in case you can't tell, it's still quite overcast. It's probably going to be like raining or threatening to rain all week. We will deal with that as it comes. For now, we are going to spend the majority of today in Kaohsiung Harbor where there are tons of things to do right along the seafront. And it's pretty much right next to my hotel, so it's very convenient. First though, we've got a museum to visit that's right on the way. So we're gonna hop on a bike, we're gonna ride on over, we're gonna have ourselves a merry old time. See you then. Okay, uh, something to note about the U-Bike system in Kaohsiung. Unlike in Taoyuan or Tainan, it does cost you money just for riding it. Like even if you just go five minutes or so like I did, it's a 5 NTD charge. And it's not a lot, it's very survivable, but just something to keep in mind. Regardless, we have now arrived at the Kaohsiung Museum of History, and we're gonna go check it out. See you inside. A lot of student groups here today. Guess it's a big field trip day. We love to see it. So what I'm learning from this section is that the Japanese uh, were one of the big countries to colonize Taiwan before it became autonomous. Uh, this whole exhibit's talking about uh, Takao Port, which is the port that we are in now, and how it was colonized by the Japanese, and how they sort of built up its industry and its trading routes before Taiwan finally took its independence back. stop in the museum cafe for my first, I guess, quote-unquote meal of the day. Uh, we've got some lychee juice here, and we've got a couple little cute biscuits. Cold fruit juice on a hot day, nothing like it. Let's try the biscuits. 
something I really like about how crumbly that is. Hmm. They definitely nailed the, the French-style shortbread dough I think they were aiming for. It was very nice. Nuts in this one. Alright, so there were a couple exhibits on the second floor I didn't show you. A bunch of small exhibits. One was about the local fishing district. There was one about a military village. And there was one detailing uh, a dark moment in uh, Kaohsiung's history where there was an attempted, you know, military suppression against student revolution. It was interesting stuff, but the exhibits were all very small, and I do want to leave something for you to discover for yourself. Plus, we have a lot on the agenda today, and I want to get going before the rain starts coming down, which means it's time to head down to the edge of the harbor and check out all the interesting things on the ocean's side. See you there. Center, uh, which I think we were pretty close to last night when we visited Balon. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Balon is right down that way, and that music center was the big building next to it we passed by. So we're still operating in a pretty small area of Kaohsiung overall. Everything is very interconnected close to the pier. As we just saw in that museum, this is a very seafaring town. So it makes sense that the pier would be so closely knit. I also want to say, just for the record, that the weather service I've been using to track the weather has been absolutely lying to me. For the past few days, I keep saying, oh, today's gonna be all rainy, today's gonna be all thunderstorms. Then I get to the time and it pushes it back. It says, oh, no, 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 it's actually gonna start in four hours. And four hours pass and it's, oh, no, 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 it's actually gonna start tomorrow. I swear, you're giving me heart attacks for no reason. I guess the lesson here is that weather in Taiwan can be pretty volatile. There's always a chance of rain, so it always overestimates how big that chance is gonna be. But seriously, when I was planning for this trip, like, the day before I set out, the weather said basically from Monday onward the whole week would be drenched in rain. And as you have seen from the videos we've taken, so that has not been the case. So we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that that good luck holds out. Because we're actually taking a ferry later today, and I can't imagine those would be running too smoothly in the rain, would they? Anyway, we have arrived at Kaohsiung Port Warehouse number two. Or maybe it's Kaohsiung Warehouse Port number two, one or the other. Either way, this is sort of an exhibition space for the art center, like a couple meters further afield. And as we saw from that sign we passed, it looks like there's a manga exhibit here. So we definitely have to check that out. Exhibition space and more of a big indoor market. That is a okay with me. If you know anything about me, you know there are a few things I like more than big indoor markets. They have fossils. Those are fossils. Oh my goodness.
take a quick snack break because I still haven't really eaten anything all day and that's probably not good. Uh, just got some popcorn chicken with some sweet Thai chili sauce. Cost was 110 NTD, which is, you know, it's tourist prices, but that's what you pay for. You can tell I'm starting to settle in to my life in Taiwan because I'm going on about tourist prices. <laughs> now that is the good stuff. It's nice and crunchy. The sweet sauce is sweet and spicy. Yeah, that's the good stuff. That is popcorn chicken at its finest. All right, enough futzing around. I'm gonna finish this, then we're gonna go up to the second floor. See you there. We also got some apple pie ice cream, because why not? One of my favorite desserts in Thanksgiving is my grandma's apple pie, fresh and hot out of the oven with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. This is home to me. I love it. This is wild. Apparently there is a hostel right here in the market. Maybe we should try sleeping here sometime. Okay, so in the end, we never did find that manga exhibition I saw. That's a shame. Maybe I'll take another look at the footage, see if I can find some more identifying characteristics that could help me spot it. But that'll be for another day. For now, I think it's time to close this video out. We've still got a monstrously busy day ahead of us, so fingers crossed the rain stays absent and we will see how far we can get. So once again, thank you all for joining us at Taiwan Lao Wai. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, smash the bell, ring the like button, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you next time. Zaijian. Bye bye. Don't ask me what, what this was. I, I have no idea.